I'm so glad you're here. I love playing soccer. Have you ever played soccer? Coach Jill teaches me everything about soccer. One thing I can do to get ready for soccer is to stretch. Can you stretch with me? One, two, one, two. Great job. Then we can practice running. Can you stand up and run in place? Great running! You can sit down now. To play the game, Coach Jill says I have to follow the ball. So if the ball goes this way, I run this way. And if the ball goes that way, I run that way. And if the ball is close to the net, I kick it in the net. Being on the soccer team is so much fun. Ooh. Ho. It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho! Did I hear someone cheering for you? Hi, Ollie. I was practicing soccer. Following a ball can be a good thing to do. I have a story about someone you can follow, too. Listen up. Just follow me through. Ho, ho! Follow me through. Follow me through. Hola friends, I'm Luis the Handyman. 
I just fixed this megaphone so I can cheer for my friends at the soccer game today. <gasps> Do you want to see how it works? Ha <laughs> ha Go team! Woohoo! Yeah, it works! <laughs> hey, do you want to know how Jesus started his first team of followers? You do? Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible is about the first 12 people who followed Jesus. They were called the disciples. This is Peter and Andrew. They were fishermen. One day, while Peter and Andrew were fishing, Jesus told them, follow me. Everyone, pull out your pretend megaphones and say, follow me. Ready? Follow me. <laughs> and Peter and Andrew followed Jesus. James and his brother John were fishermen too. They were working with their dad when Jesus said, follow me. Pull out your pretend megaphones again and say, follow me. Ready? Follow me. And James and John followed Jesus too. In the next town, Jesus found a man named Philip. Philip followed Jesus and brought his friend Nathaniel to follow Jesus too. Next, we have Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector, and he made a lot of bad choices. But Jesus still loved Matthew and wanted to be his friend. Jesus told Matthew, come follow me. Pull out your pretend megaphones again and say, follow me. Ready? Follow me. And Matthew did. Matthew followed Jesus. <laughs> there was also Thomas and James Thaddeus and Simon and Judas. Hmm. Do we have all 12 disciples? Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. We did it. These were Jesus' 12 disciples. That was his first team. Go team! <laughs> but that's not all of this story because Jesus isn't done yet. Jesus wants you to be on his team too and your friends and your family because Jesus loves everyone and Jesus wants everyone to be his friend forever. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. And that's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. 12 disciples follow Jesus. And you can follow Jesus, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow. Jesus wants everyone to follow him and be his friend forever. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. The disciples were the first 12 people to follow Jesus and be on his team. What an awesome team. I wonder if I can bounce my soccer ball on my knee 12 times. I'll see you later. One, two, three, four.
I have called you friends. John 15, 15. I have called you friends. John 15, 15.